Montreal, there's a miracle happening on March 13th. Welcome back everyone to Kind Time. I'm Pamela Pagano and keep watching to find out what this miracle is. Brent, Divya, welcome to Kind Time. How are you? I'm so good. I'm so excited to be here. I've been watching your show forever. So being here as a guest now just feels like super unreal. Oh, that's an honor. And Brent, today we are talking about the Miracle Montreal happening on March 13th. So you are the co-creator of the Miracle. Tell us what year this all began. So it, it started in 2020 at the beginning of the pandemic. So since then, the miracle movement has raised uh, over $10 million worth of food and had over 25,000 volunteers involved across Canada. Wow, I, I, I am a, at a loss for words. Well, I am honored to be one of the new volunteers this year, <laughs> which did- 25,001 now. One, that's right. Divya, you are the Concordia representative for the Miracle Montreal. So tell us what we can expect, Divya, on March 13th. Basically, how it's going to work is you're going to have a bunch of people starting at 10 a.m putting a non-perishable good on their front porch and then you're going to have volunteers walk around, pick that up, and then the volunteers who are driving are going to drive that to the food banks and then the food banks get to deliver to those in need. So it's a really beautiful, very beautiful process that happens all in one day. Everyone in Montreal is on this at the same time. It's a one-time thing and it's, it's beautiful. I'm really excited. Yes, that is extremely excited. Uh, exciting. I'm extremely excited. And so now tell us how can people from Montreal get involved for March 13th? Oh, so you can visit the website. There's the Miracle Montreal website. You can even visit the Casa Cares website. So our team, Casa Cares, when we first heard about the event, we wanted to jump right in just because food insecurity is something that touches everyone. So we've been really trying to get, you know, Concordians involved as well as other students involved and really just like the community involved in all of this. And I've been helping the uh, different miracles around, uh, around Canada that have been happening. And just from what I've seen in Montreal, I'm very excited for what they uh, for what the opportunity that they have to make some some real deep impact in the community and real social growth. So, Brent, I want to ask you: these non-perishable food items that your movement that you co-created is giving to so many people in need during this pandemic. How, what are some reactions that you've seen or heard of? because of this initiative. What's gonna happen on March 13th is a miracle's gonna happen. And it goes a lot deeper than so many people getting food. It's when these times are tough, we're gonna show, and Montreal citizens are gonna show each other that they, that what it feels like to really work together to help each other. And it's, it's also one year to mark the, that, that's a year since the pandemic started, right? <gasps> That's the year since the first lockdown. So what better way to celebrate than to show how strong we are still together. That yeah. One year later, we're just as, Montreal is just as strong, if not stronger than they've ever been. And this is such a kind initiative, which leads me to my final question, Brent Divya, what do you think kindness is? Um, I'd say uh, kindness is in all of every single one of us. I think kindness is just giving back to the people, um, doing things without wanting anything in return. And I think that kindness is something that's just going to transform the world. A hundred percent. And on March 13th, we shall be doing just that. So I look forward to that day. Brent, thank you so much for co-creating this beautiful initiative. Divya, thank you so much for getting myself and many other Montrealers involved. And I'll see you all on March 13th. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much.
And remember to think happy and be kind. Bye-bye, everyone.